You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network. By now, you should get accustomed to me saying that we're on our next segment of our 25 Supercharge, 25 Motivational Tips to Supercharge of 2024. And we are on Lucky 13. This is a um, opportunity to take the next steps in furthering our growth and in that, we, last week we talked about believing in yourself and how important it is to have that synergy to be able to accomplish whatever else you got in your path or your desires. So it only makes sense to take that type of uh, energy and, and focus and use it to next discover your passions. Because in discovering your passions, you're able to ignite a deeper focus because you're doing something that makes you feel good about it. And it's something that motivates you to, to, to do the next thing or to show up and to, to keep at it. And it's, it's a level of consistency and discovering your passions it, for many people. It can be different elements to where you may already may already be aware of what your passions are, or maybe you're discovering or rediscovering what your passions are. But at the end of it, it all uh, allows you to be able to level up in your life. And that's the point, right? The whole point is for us to be able to charge those things that we possess, those things that we embody, uh, the things that we can actually add to our already uh, uh, abilities or initiatives. Sometimes you have to recreate things that you've already done before, fine tune it, or maybe you're starting with a completely new discovery. And you're intentionally looking for that discovery and and, and making sure that it's something that will drive you on an ongoing basis enough for you to really work towards, you know, seeing it through. And with that, it just uncovers so much of your life that it it just makes the next steps even even better. And you'll find yourself to be more fuller in your existence. So, guys, I hope you all ready for this conversation. You know what time it is. Welcome to Loudmouth Radio Network. My name is Sonny. As a former professional athlete turned entrepreneur realtor and the producer of Loudmouth Radio Network, I look forward to bringing content to you that empowers, inspires, and entertains you. Tune in each week as we have unscripted and unfiltered talks from entrepreneurship, real estate, politics, entertainment, comedy, LGBTQ topics, day-to-day life, and everything in between. All shows available on demand 24-7 on your favorite podcast platforms. Diamond Valley Lodge, the one-of-a-kind, unique, exotic dining experience for the whole family. Have dinner with real tigers at Diamond Valley Lodge's 100% safe, unique dinner party experience. Ever dine just feet away from a majestic Bengal tiger? Now you can. A magical evening under the stars with open-air seating in an exotic Zen garden. Just feet away from some of the most majestic creatures on the planet are crown jewels of nature. Dinners are served on Friday and Saturday, brunch on Sunday. Reservation only by calling 855-9-TIGERS or 951-390-2670 or visit diamondvalleylodge.com. Santa Center to Mecla Valley areas and throughout the Inland Empire. Are you looking to become a homeowner in 2024? Register today for the new home in the New Year seminar hosted by So by Sunny. Let's get you from rental to homeowner in the new year. Get the latest insight of down payment assistance programs, whether you purchased a home before or purchased them for the first time. We want to make sure you're provided with the necessary information needed for you to buy your new home in 2024. Look forward to seeing you there. Hi, I'm Hector Calvillo of Jane H. Automotive, located at 611 West Florida Avenue in Hemet, California. We are a full-service automotive repair shop where you can always expect to receive the highest quality repairs, fairest pricing, best customer service in the industry. My brother George and I grew up watching our dad work on classic cars as a backyard mechanic. His hard work ethic and dedication led us to opening up Jane H. Automotive in 2009. 
We started out with a 500 square foot repair shop and we have consistently grown over the past 15 years to our new 10,000 square foot repair facility in the heart of Hemet. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Call 951-766-5999 to set an appointment for all your automotive service needs. It's funny, I feel like Oprah, uh, <laughs> as far as, oh yeah, I guess everybody can say they feel like Oprah. They would they would, they would, would definitely shine on that perspective, right? But I, I feel like Oprah's Sunday, Sunday soul, where she's out in, the, in her garden, and right now I'm out in nature. I wanted to be outside. I didn't want to be inside of the studio today. I wanted to really be in an open air space, in a calm space, and it's been raining for the last few weeks and on and off and the most of the country has been dealing with all these different weather systems and so to have a moment it was even trickling drizzling earlier today and it's kind of calmed down and the sun's out there's a little bit of clouds uh, but I can actually see the mountains fully they're not completely covered there's no fog there's no density of of uh, elements over the top of the plains i can just see clearly around me but i can also see the clouds and i can see the transition of the temperatures of the uh rain and and the sun kind of going back and forth and what's ironic to me is that i feel like uh, a lot of times the things that we possess can can look like that where we're we're aware that they may be there we may not be able to see them clearly or, or or embody them fully but we're aware of them or we know that there's something that is present that may be calling for us to tap into or to initiate or you may already know what it is but we just need to do it sometimes we're pausing on our necks because of uncertainties Remember last week I was talking about believing in yourself and I believe they coincide because the belief of yourself and your abilities and, and, and getting to that point of understanding yourself gives you another level of aptitude that other people can't give you. It, it's it's not something that's in a, a book or a speech or in, in, in other formats that's going to feed you. It's something that is within you that is ignited that connects and it creates this like internal spark and it gives you enough push to say that this is worth my time is worth my own measurement of commitment to see what I can do with it. Now for some people, their passions are something that just may, may, may become just a hobby or be maintained as a hobby. It may not be something that they take into a, a career choice or a transitional point of, of, of life's, you know, perspectives. It just could be something that just coincides with their life, and it's something that they can maybe lose themselves into, along with other responsibilities. But for many of us, like myself, I've always wanted to tap into the things that I found that came naturally to me or the things that had my interests. And in order for you to know what your passions are, you have to give them some type of attention. You have to measurably allow them to be tested. And in, in, and in testing that, you're testing yourself. So one of the things that I think that the, one of the first uh, segments of this is to take note of your current interests and your existing hobbies because there may be a passion that is within those elements of things that you're already attracted to. But maybe they just need to be honed a little bit more or given more um, more attention and more uh, more repetition. Maybe there needs to be more involvement in it. And, and that in itself can give you something that can feel very rewarding because it already has had your interest. Now, the, the thing is, I realize that for many of us, we have day-to-day things that we're doing. Our schedules are always uh, providing something for us or calling us to do something. Some people may have more things pulling at them than others. But it's, it's just as equally as important that you set aside time for you to know that this is dedicated time and space that I'm going to nurture into this this thing or this place or this space that you're uh, working towards and discovering your passion, right? And so one of the things that I was going to suggest is that maybe you take a week and just give yourself some 
some time just to exp- for exploration, just to allow your mind to drift, to maybe take notes. Um, and see, this is what's so incredible, guys. A hummingbird is suspended in the air right in front of me right now. And it's so magical. She's so pretty. She's green, and she's coming over here. She's right here by me. Oh, my gosh. Now, see, I wish I could take a picture. But if I move too fast, she's going to jump. So even in these little moments, I I don't take it for granted that making time and space for things like this, exploration, that's a moment. So just in this moment, I had an opportunity to see up and close this hummingbird that truly... uh, (laughs) St- stayed here in front of me for a long time. It went around the tree. It came around. It, it came all the way over to my leg. It was right in front of me. And if you know a hummingbird, they're so tiny. And they're moving and they move very fast. But this one just kind of <laughs> flown around me and she circulated around me and she kind of hung over here for a second and then she flew off. So I think that's kind of a blessing. I don't know if there's an omen about hummingbirds. Somebody can share that with me if they may be aware. But that was just a beautiful sight. So my decision today to take the time to be still in nature, have this conversation with you, and explore the conversation that I'm having with you gave me an opportunity to connect with something so beautiful that was outside of me, right? So for me to just kind of stay in in, in the path of what I was saying, taking this time to give yourself exploration and discovery, because that's what discovery is, is time uh, just being with yourself and, and, and taking time to see what ignites for you, what makes sense for you, what, what feels good to you, maybe what doesn't work for you. Sometimes you may find that this is not something that has been for you to do at all. And you may just give it a little bit of time and attention and let it go. One of the things that I think that's so important for us to, to know that as humans, we are here to discover and to do life and to open up all of our senses and to discover what is around in our world, the gifts that the universe is giving us as a whole. God has created this entire universe that we will never, within our one time frame, <laughs> discover the vastness of it. So... The one thing, the one vessel that we can is ourselves. How much time are we spending discovering things about ourselves? I don't know about you guys, but I would hate to admit it that I've probably given so many other people so much more time than I've given myself. And I have been very much, very much innately aware of a lot of my gifts and and my passions for a very long time. But I also know that I can also look at a measuring tape of how much time I've given to other pa- other people, other places, other things. So when we can intentionally work towards giving ourselves time and giving ourselves the uh, the ability and the permission to be great, how is that ever something that is in, uh, uh, in vain or a waste of time? It's not. Honestly, I think that we should be giving ourselves just as much as we're giving to so many other people outside of ourselves, whether it's a job, whether it's children, whether it's family, whether it's spouses, partners, you know, uh, best friends, whatever. Because at the end of the day, you wake up and you go to sleep with you, you embody you, you're walking around as this, 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 this body that has a soul that has a purpose because as long as you're here and you're in your physical form, there's purpose for you in that physical form. There's reason for your existence. There's reason for you to be in these places. And I, I, I don't think that geographically is a mistake. I don't believe that it's, you know, timing, you know, all of all of these things in time are all uniquely combined. And when we lock it, and, and if you guys and if you want to challenge me on it, just take the time to think about something that you wanted or you thought about significantly. And it, it, it really meant a lot to you or had a, a, a desire. And then it appears. 
right? That's that connection, right? It's, it's that synchronicity, that, that universal connection of our energies aligning to the things that we desire. And I, I got to tell you guys, I had that, that experience this weekend for a project I got coming up, and it was such a wonderful moment to know that God was aligning the things and I knew that I was on my path. I knew that I was synchronizing with the things that I needed to have uh, to come across the things that I was in search of, made discovery of things that I, I would, I would need along the way that appeared people that showed up, came in agreement, standing in in the space of, you know, saying, yes, I'm committed And to have that moment is a part of the discovery of your passions. It it just helps the passion piece of it come alive and it gives it strength and it gives it vitality. The one thing that I'm going to give you a last to close out is these things are how you reconnect to areas within you that light up. And, and, And that's when you engage and that's when you know that things are giving you the fullness of your own desires is it, it just all connects and it becomes a wonderful space and time and it makes it just make it starts to make things make sense and it will give you such an internal and external validation that only you will know you and the spirit you you, you and, and the spirit within you will understand it when you see it when you feel it and when you experience it and then the more your strength in, in that happens, then the external forces of people around you and outside you will start to see it. And, it, and, and it'll be comments where they may say, oh, you, you might, you know, you're, you're, you're light. You, you, you have a light. You're, you're glowing. Um, and they can see this levitation happening with you. And it's a beautiful thing. So, guys, I'm concluding this segment. I'm excited to know how you're on your path, how things are happening. But remember to discover your passions and you have permission to get lost in yourself. You guys be blessed. Peace. Hey, this is Cindy Lemke from the Hemet Center, Center Valley Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here to invite you to learn more about the Chamber. We have networks ongoing, so you can join us at a breakfast at JM Restaurant at 9 a.m. every Wednesday. Breakfast is on you, networking is on us. And then we have Women in Business, we have the Multicultural Network, and we have the Valley Nonprofit Network. And then we also have our monthly mixer. Any one of those things, you can be my guest. Give me a call at the office for more information or to tell me you're coming. 951-658-3211 or you can check us out on the website hsjvc.com. That's like hemetsangesinovalleychamber.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day and don't forget to join the chamber and help your business grow. You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network.